guys see this big jungle that we have growing here? Hi, uh, Stell, you ready to go out? Mom. Oh, your stall be looking clean. Um, imagine Finn's name Pikachu. You are a Pikachu freak. Anyway, that big, huge jungle over there, <laughs> this is the problem with it. Um, so, it, it, it was all ripped up, so it's like a construction field. There's rocks everywhere, so we can't take our lawnmower, any tool that we have to to, to take it down. So we got somebody to do it for us with his machines. But the problem is, is that he is going to do it when he can, which means once his work is finished, which is fine, because we could have a choice to like just hire somebody else instead because we don't want to wait. But the thing is, in this town, everybody knows everybody, and he already claimed the job, so nobody else will come and do it for us. That's what small town, small town life is like. And people do things in this area on their own time and there's nothing you can do about it and that's okay. But anyway, let's get feeding our horses. Yesterday I told you guys I was so super stressed out about moving the horses to the front field. Um, I didn't feel it was safe enough and I knew people were going to think that I was bashing Sam and I wasn't because I appreciate everything that he does for me. I just, it's hard sometimes you guys when there are things that you can't do and you can't control like the big huge weed field in the front and you have to wait and you have to rely on other people. It's hard. It's hard for me. It might not be as hard for other people but it's such a hard thing for me and I'm learning it and I'm doing my best at it and Sam and I always work it out. Like. I always end up saying, you know what, I'm just going to let him learn and do it his way and then if we have to fix it. I just remember when we did it in the back with Storm and Storm kept getting out, that was really hard for me. Whereas for Sam, it wasn't that big of a deal. He didn't, he doesn't feel things as strongly as I do sometimes and so we just kind of mel mesh our ways together to make things work out and it always will work out but I just wanted to clarify that I was not bashing Sam. Oh. Gabby is fixated on the whole winter coat thing. Yeah, like it he barely. Is warm. Look. That's oh my goodness. Coat. Yeah, you be getting fluffy. And Willow's really getting fluffy. She's warm. Yeah, let's see Willow. Did you guys see in yesterday's video where she came up to me and she oh, touched yeah, her head? She touched her head to me and it was pure love. She was giving me love, you guys. That's so rare. Um, and thank you guys for sharing that information about Willow growing her winter coat early at the sign of winter. That made me feel a lot better. Good. See? Mm -hmm. I'm just coming frozen. Guys, I'm frozen. I'm frozen, I'm frozen and too. I touch them and snuggle them and I'm warm. Yeah. They're like, just leave me alone, let me eat. Anyway, today's the day of a lot of changes oh on the day God, by day farm. Yeah, let me. I know the difference between warm and not warm. So her front foot feels a little warm. Good call, Sophie. I'm always on the lookout about feet problems now that we had Stella. Do you feel the one? Feel the back ones. One is a little bit warm. Because this one has been touched more than this one. So, uh, you guys know Stella got her hawks injected and one of the, the side effects is a possible founder flare. So, I've been really watching her and watching her and adjusting all the food that we give her. So, one day she was like That's going like hot. this, back and forth on her feet a little bit and I was it's freaking not, out. It's not hot. It's just like... People have been touching it for a while. Feel her feet. So I, I was soaking her hay for the first few days after the after the shot and then I stopped. So when she started doing that, I started soaking her hay again and then she's like five million percent better. The one her feet are still a little bit warm though. Like I don't know what's normal for that. But anyway, today is gonna be a good day. Today I'm gonna let Gracie meet Willow, Stella. I'm gonna put Stella in with the girls. Guess what they both do? Nothing. Stella doesn't do anything. They just pin their ears. And Gracie pretends like she's gonna bite them. I'm going to, oh, yeah. yeah, they're up there. The people are here moving all the stuff on the side of the property. So um, I'm going to, I don't know if it'll happen today, but we're going to extend the field for the girls back and out to the sections that Storm had. Um, we're gonna uh, do that. And the boys are gonna go together in the big field. There's a couple of big holes out there. Gabby and I are gonna fill those. Yeah, but we gotta fill some holes. And, and Sophie. Yeah, and Sophie. Sophie, you gotta help too. I love your outfit. Willow was over there at Grace. She's the one. <laughs> I told Willow, get some as 
Yeah, she's she's a Sophie lover. Sophie, I have to tell you something. No dog kicking. No kicking the dog crate. Okay. And there she goes. Why is she doing that? I've never That's seen cool. <laughs> We've never seen her do that. Was that a yawn? A stretch? Like what the heck? That was you Maybe should teach her some tricks. This winter is going to be all about training our minis to do stuff. Yeah, now you'll train Willa. Gracie, and I'll train Willa. Yeah. Okay. All right, because Gracie... She's a small pony. I know. So, she's the biggest small pony. Yeah, like she's the at the high size end size of a small baby. pony. You know, this is... I'm like, no. So... Without kicking? Well, I ate all our grains. Yeah, that's cool though. Caught on camera. You guys didn't catch it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you. We were away on our trip. We had because we had other dogs there. We had to keep our dogs in. We brought like an X pen for outside, and we had to keep them crated a lot. And they are not used to that. Toby was barking incessantly. It was like to the point where we all wanted to pull our hair out. And you can't train him away from it because he's not neutered. He's not neutered because he has a heart murmur, and uh, the vet doesn't recommend it. And um, so we just had to put up with it and it was horrible and Sophie kicked his dog crate not like ferociously but she did kick it and that is not cool I don't even know how I missed it I was vlogging it I missed it and if I had even seen it when I was editing I would have deleted it and we would have had a talk and we did have a talk this morning but yeah it's not cool to kick the dog crate even when you're frustrated all right Gracie girl you're about to meet a new friend. I don't know if this is the right thing or if Fiona will let us do this, but this is what's gonna happen. Hi, Stella Bell. They both just pin their ears. Yeah, so our... one thing you guys might know already is that Stella and the Gracie are both calm, kind girls. Uh-oh. Yeah, three's a crowd. Two's company, three's a crowd. So if you guys remember, this is what happened when we introduced Finn. They kind of like kept to themselves and then he slowly oh, got in. So what I think is gonna happen is that Stella will accept Gracie and then Willa will eventually. You guys remember when we introduced Finn? Same thing. Stella, Grace, Willow needed Stella to help show her the way. Gracie, you be looking good. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? I don't know if you can see it. The shape of a heart on Willow's belly. Do you guys see it? Kind of. Right kind here. Of. Yeah. Yeah. I'm nervous. They're just gonna stand and eat. They don't care about. So food cures everything, you guys. I was like worried. It's gonna happen. Don't fall in a ditch in a hole. This is like richer. Do you think we need to like take them out? Yeah. I have to ask Fiona. Cause I don't want them to like. <laughs> yeah, maybe we won't let them stay in here all day. Well, that was fun. Very eventful storm. Finn's like, really? Is this really happening or where's my girl? So the reason that I'm agreeing to put the horses together again is because when Storm gets antsy and tries to beat up Finn, Finn can run away. Still kind of stressful though. Come here. Come here, wow, I can't believe this actually happened. Storm's looking like, wow, what the heck? What? Where, where does this, where's the rope end? 
Now he's gonna go see. Yeah, he's getting ready. He's filling his belly a little, and now he's gonna run. Once we're on grass all day, they're gonna have so much energy. <laughs> they're gonna be galloping around the field like crazy. Yeah. He's like, hmm, should I roll? Like, I Who's the first one that's gonna gallop around? Storm. <laughs> Maybe Finn. Well, Finn is because Finn's forward. He can get Storm going. So yeah, there's a chance that we could put Stella out here with a muzzle at some point. But all right, what do you have to get? I gotta get a wooden pole. Okay. All right. Yep, I'm gonna be set up. All right. Are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. You know what I'm nervous about? I'm nervous that Storm's gonna be mean to Finn, and I'm nervous they're gonna get out, or I'm nervous somebody's gonna come and try and touch them or do something to them. Oh, they're not gonna get out. Famous last Unless words. Jump. Yeah, that's why you don't teach your horses to jump. Each other plug. Each other with a fence post. You can put a third line. Okay, so what you're saying is we're going to buy more of these T-posts and we're going to change them every, every third. Every and we're going to buy one. caps for these because they're dangerous, right? For these metal ones, yeah. Yeah. All right. And you can do an extra line on top. All right, so sometimes I just need to talk things out. And then once we explain and we work through it together, then I feel more comfortable. But yeah, that's 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 it, you guys. We're going to fill in some holes yeah, out there. Um, so yeah. some of you guys, Jenny Allport, I think, said that we should just electrify the, the top layer of fence. Okay. The whole thing about this thing, it tells you on the back. If you have too many lines, you can only do a certain amount of acres. Oh, okay. So this does up to 30 acres, and we only got maybe one, two acres. Three acres here. Three acres for them. So it'll work for. You this. think that's three acres? So one thing I noticed that the three fields, acres. because I zoom in a lot and stuff, all of our fields look way smaller on on the camera than they do in real life. I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting the horses to settle down and be calm. So that car is moved, you guys. I don't want to show too much, but the car is over there now, and things are getting cleared up. You guys probably didn't see that, but Gracie just spooked a huge spook, scared the heck out of me. She's really spooky. I'm gonna look into that because sometimes horses that are spooky like her have magnesium issues, like they don't have enough magnesium in their body. So I'm gonna see what I can figure out about that. But anyway, she spooked and bolted and ran down there so fast. And guess what Stella did? Steady Stella. Steady Stella chased her and bit her. No, Stella just moved out of the way and just stood still and calm. They're, they're, yeah, this is gonna work out, I think, for her. This is gonna really make a big difference. Yesterday, I was so stressed out, and I think the problem was that we waited to do chores till after school, and then there was just no time. I had so much I had to do. And I think, like, we set our alarms this morning and got up earlier. I think this is gonna really help with the stress thing. And I think this is gonna really help with school, too. Like, we come out and exert a lot of energy and have happiness with the horses and then go up and once everything's done and do school. I think that's what we're gonna work on, we're gonna do. I've been longing for a friend Deep down in my heart I won't lie to you again I know it drove us apart That's all the dirt you guys got? Yeah. Okay, so you basically, yeah, I'll help you guys. So, okay, it's hard. So basically, there's a few holes like this. Is no, there? There's only one. Is there only one? Yeah. Well, you guys need to, you guys need to walk around after and double check. Okay. We've already walked around this whole thing. Well, I better walk around. I galloped around it. You galloped around it? So we don't want any like big huge hit holes like this yeah, in case. Yeah, you dump it. Yeah, that's okay. It's a big hole. Come on. Right or wrong, we're filling it in because 
Wow, great job, girls. So this is a job I gave the girls that was hard. Usually I help them when something's hard. Somehow I'll make you notice that our life's about One thing I like about this pasture is that for people to like come and touch our horses, they essentially have to climb down a big, huge, slippery, steep ditch to get to them. So they're kind of like, yeah, yeah. Look, school bus. looking at Stella. Stella was looking at him. Gracie's like, let me out there. I want the food. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.